I cannot believe I never realized this about the Bible before. And I'm gonna try to explain it as best as I can, but no guarantees because it makes sense in my head and then it comes out of my mouth and it's like, what are you talking about? So I pray that you pray for the spirit of discernment and understanding before you watch this video because if you don't have that, you will not understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. Okay, so the earth has light now, okay? Genesis chapter 1, verse 16. So this is after he said that. God made two great lights, the greater light to rule over the day and the lesser light to rule over the night, as well as stars. So according to many sources, this means the sun, moon, and stars. But, but I thought the sun in the sky caused light for the earth now listen 1 john chapter 1 verse 5 this is the message we have heard from him and announced to you that god is light and in him there is no darkness at all okay let's go back to genesis chapter 1 verse 2 now the earth was formless and empty darkness covered the surface of the watery depths and the spirit of god was hovering over the surface of the waters i hope things are starting to click for you because i cannot explain it I can only just give you the points. You have to connect them. John chapter 8 verse 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Hello? I hope you're connecting the dots. I hope you- John chapter 1 verse 1 through 2. In the beginning. Oh, Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was in the beginning with god that's all that's all i gotta say that's all that's all also this is very interesting i know genesis chapter one and two and so on are about the creation of the world but hear me out genesis chapter one verse two now the earth us was formless and empty darkness covered the surface of the watery depths and the spirit of god was hovering over the surface of waters now imagine this earth is us, just as an example, okay? Before we were saved, we were formless and empty. Darkness covered the surface of us. And then God said, let there be light. When people get saved, they believe, they accept Jesus in their hearts, and Jesus is the light of the world. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna sleep so good after this. Okay, I hope you understand. I hope you learned something because I just cannot explain it.